sketchbooks. All artists need sketchbooks. Hi, it's me, Miss Tara. I make art everywhere. Today I'm sitting in my kitchen, okay? Let's see, I'll show you. Uh, can I flip this? Can I flip this? Oh, no, I can't. Well, anyway, my stove is across from me. My fridge is over here. Yep, I'm sitting in my kitchen making art. I have a few supplies set up ready to go. I have my glass of water, well, my corn chips in my favorite polka dot bowl. Uh, most importantly, my glue stick and my pens and my pencil, my markers, and uh, that's it. Oh, my sketchbook, my sketchbook. Okay. So this first step is tiny, but mighty. What you need to do is use your glue stick and get the color for your grade level and glue that tiny strip of paper onto your sketchbook. This is because there's going to be 220 sketchbooks floating around Whitman School, and I'm gonna need an easy way to recognize whose sketchbook is whose. Once you get that tiny colored piece of paper glued on, you need to put your name and your class code on that. Do that right away. Thank you. Okay, now you're drawing your name, and so you put one bubble for each letter of your first name. This is called overlapping. See how one bubble looks like it's behind the other bubble? You're also drawing with a super sketch line. It's very light. The reason why you draw it super light and not dark and powerful is because you want it to be easy to erase. After you get your bubbles on, you gotta carve out the letters. So I carved out the letter T-A-R-A, -A, and they look all puffy and poofy. Those are bubble letters. Now I'm erasing all of my extra bubble lines, and then I get a fine line marker or a felt tip pen, and I outline my pencil lines with the marker or the pen, or you could even use a crayon. Uh, whatever your preference is, it's your sketchbook, you get to choose. Now here I end up drawing a poofy cloud behind my bubble letters, and what I did was I made a little lump for each letter and, and, and uh, went around the edges. Now you erase all of your pencil lines and it looks like you drew it in crayon or markers first. It's like magic. Okay. And that's how you make bubble letters. And when you have your name looking all beautiful, then you can add more details. This is just a simple thing where I repeat the line over and over and over again, all the way to the out and then I'm going to add color. <laughs> 